Cypher PK is currently one of the most well-respected Fortnite content creators, reaching over 6 million subscribers on YouTube and 6 million followers on Twitch. Cypher PK has a long history on YouTube and he's been uploading content for over a decade. A lot of people found out who Cypher was because of his Fortnite content and he was able to build a career off the game. Unlike many of the other really popular Fortnite content creators though, Cypher PK didn't reach his maximum viewership during the peak of Fortnite and he started growing at an even faster rate in the last couple years. If you take a look at Cypher PK's YouTube channel and sort his videos by popularity, Almost all of his most viewed videos are not from 2018, which is when Fortnite had the most hype behind it. How was Cypher PK able to grow his YouTube channel to new heights when not many of their Fortnite creators were able to do so? How did Cypher grow such a loyal fan base through gaming? And how much longer will Cypher PK continue to upload and stream Fortnite on a regular basis? We are going to be answering all those questions in today's video, as well as going over the general rise of Cypher on YouTube and Twitch. Let's get straight into it. Cypher PK uploaded his first ever YouTube video on September 11th, 2011, titled Cypher PK Epic Overkill. RuneScape Top 10 Kills, and this video currently has over 150,000 views. Cypher was uploading RuneScape content pretty consistently throughout 2011 and 2012, and all these videos have around 8,000 views. In these RuneScape videos, Cypher would commentate what he was doing in the game, and these videos are surprisingly high in quality for this time. Most of the time, when creators are just starting out, they have terrible audio and video quality, but Cypher actually had decent audio and commentary skills for his level of experience. It's also important to note that back in 2011 and 2012, there weren't as many ways to record your gameplay as there are now, so all things considered, Cypher was making some really entertaining RuneScape videos early on. Moving forward though, Cypher wouldn't upload RuneScape content forever, and on January 1st, 2014, he uploaded a video titled No More RuneScape YouTube Videos, which got over 11,000 views. In this video, Cypher explained that the RuneScape community on YouTube isn't as popular as it used to be, and a lot of the bigger RuneScape content creators were not getting the same level of support. Cypher did mention in this video that any RuneScape content he wanted to make would be streamed on Twitch, and as far as I know, this is the first time he started streaming on Twitch. In early 2014, Cypher Cypher had reached over 9,000 subscribers, which I think is really impressive, considering the fact that he had only been uploading here and there for a little over two years. Cypher also went on to talk about how he was really excited for a new MMO game to be coming out soon, that being Elder Scrolls Online, aka ESO. Throughout 2014 and 2015, Cypher only uploaded Elder Scrolls Online videos, and a lot of these videos were getting over 20,000 views, but some of them even broke 100,000 views. On April 9th, 2015, Cypher PK uploaded a video titled Stamina Nightblade PvP Build Elder Scrolls Online, which got over 200 40,000 views. Not only was Cypher growing a lot on YouTube, but he was also growing a small community on Twitch as well. Due to how successful Cypher was becoming on both platforms, he decided to take a semester off from school and become a full-time content creator. He explained this decision on August 27th, 2015 with a video titled, Going Full-Time on YouTube slash Twitch, and everyone in the comment section was extremely supportive of his decision. Cypher kept on growing by uploading Elder Scrolls Online videos during 2016, but the game was getting very repetitive for Cypher, especially because he was uploading and streaming the game non-stop. He decided to branch out his channel in early 2017 by uploading a lot more For Honor content, and these videos were getting just as many views if not more views than his Elder Scrolls Online videos. He was still uploading ESO videos every now and then, so it's not like he just stopped playing ESO one day and started uploading For Honor, but he definitely added more variety to his content. Also in 2017, Cypher was streaming For Honor pretty much every day on Twitch, and he was averaging around 500 concurrent viewers, which is a really solid amount. As most of you may know, Fortnite Battle Royale came out in 2017, and Cypher PK started to upload the game a few weeks after it came out. On October 20th, 3rd, 2017, Cypher uploaded his first Fortnite video titled Biggest Fail Ever, Fortnite Battle Royale, and this video got over 70,000 views. It may come as a surprise that Cypher's Fortnite videos didn't get a lot of traction in the beginning, and a lot of his Elder Scrolls Online videos and For Honor videos were getting a lot more views than his Fortnite content. This is actually pretty common when a YouTuber starts posting a different game on their channel, and it usually takes a little bit of time before a creator can grow an audience with a new game. Cypher kept on uploading Fortnite though, and it obviously paid off, because he became one of the most popular Fortnite YouTubers and Twitch streamers. One of the ways Cypher PK was able to grow in the Fortnite genre was by posting tutorials on the game. He uploaded videos such as Becoming the Best in Fortnite Battle Royale, Advanced Guide, How to Be a Pro, and Turbo Building Mode, Guide and Explanation, all of which got over 200,000 views. Cypher was an amazing Fortnite player, always uploading 20 plus kill gameplays, which also helped his Fortnite tutorials because nobody wants to take gaming advice from someone who isn't actually good at the game. Cypher didn't only grow from Fortnite tutorials though, and he gained a large audience through his Fortnite challenge videos, such as him winning a game of Fortnite with a trap tower. Cypher uploaded a video on July 6, 2018, titled This Is Why They Call Me The Trap King, which got over 400,000 views. Once Cypher PK got momentum on YouTube with his Fortnite content in 2018, all of his videos were pulling over 500,000 views, and he'd stop making Elder Scrolls Online and For Honor videos altogether. Cypher also started to stream Fortnite daily on Twitch, and he was averaging over 10,000 concurrent viewers in the summer of 2018. Cypher was different from a lot of the other Fortnite content creators, mainly because he was more laid back in his content style. He didn't start yelling after every nice kill he got like Ninja, but he still offered some energy to his stream. 
stream. Oftentimes, it seems like streamers overreact to every little thing that happens in hopes of being entertaining, but Cypher PK came across as a lot more genuine when live streaming. Moving forward to 2019, Cypher kept on uploading and streaming Fortnite full time, and his content was still getting the same level of viewership, with most of his videos getting hundreds of thousands of views, with the occasional video getting over 1 million views. As for his Twitch account, he was still averaging around 5,000 concurrent viewers, but on October 14th, 2019, Cypher would stream on Twitch and get a ridiculous 64,000 concurrent viewers. The reason his stream did so well that day was because the Fortnite Black Hole event was taking place, and everyone in the Fortnite community was going crazy trying to figure out what this meant for the game. Cypher was one of the go-to content creators people watch when it came to Fortnite news and updates, and every single time a new chapter or season of Fortnite came out, his viewership would increase significantly. Jumping forward into 2020, this is when Cypher would really take advantage of other games competing with Fortnite. On March 10th, 2020, Warzone came out, and it was being streamed by a lot of the top Fortnite creators who had gone frustrated with the game. Tifu was arguably the most popular Fortnite YouTuber in the world during 2019, but he started uploading and streaming a lot more Warzone, making his Fortnite viewers have to find someone else like Cypher to watch. Tim the Tatman is another example of a Fortnite content creator leaving for Warzone in 2020, and even though a lot of everyday people quit Fortnite and started playing Warzone, a lot of people still played Fortnite every single day. Cypher PK still enjoyed playing Fortnite, and despite him uploading some Warzone content on a second gaming channel, more Cypher PK, his main channel was strictly Fortnite. Cypher was averaging over 1 million views per video in 2020, making it his most successful year on the platform. When it comes to Twitch, Cypher was averaging 7,000 concurrent viewers per stream, so he was doing extremely well on both YouTube and Twitch. Another explanation for Cypher's increase in viewership could be the pandemic shutting down the world, which gave people a lot more time to watch content. I don't find this argument that convincing though, because his YouTube channel is still getting millions of views per video in 2023, so it's not like people stopped watching Cypher's content after the pandemic got under control. I also think that Cypher's consistency played a major role in him succeeding on social media, because he's uploaded over 2,000 total videos to his YouTube channel, which is the equivalent of daily uploading for five and a half years straight. He's also streamed over 2,000 times in the last six years, and he rarely takes a break from creating content. Moving forward into 2021 and 2022, these years were very similar for Cypher, as he continued uploading and streaming Fortnite content. Despite the fact that he only uploaded Fortnite videos on his main channel, he didn't let that stop him from expanding his content into other areas. Cypher has a bunch of other popular YouTube channels, such as More Cypher PK, which has over 1.6 million subscribers, Cypher Shorts, which has over 490,000 subscribers, Cypher Plays, which has around 570,000 subscribers, and lastly Cypher Reacts, which has around 500,000 subscribers. He uploads consistently on all these channels except Cypher Plays, and it's really impressive to me how he's able to produce so much content and stream at the same time. Now obviously he has people editing his videos and making his thumbnails, but it's still a lot of content for him to make either way. Cypher was able to grow his channel by being super consistent with his Fortnite content, while a lot of the other creators left to play other games. Due to his loyalty to Fortnite, Epic Games actually gave him his own skin in the game, which is a really cool thing for them to do. Cypher has been making Fortnite videos since 2017 though, and at some point he's gonna lose interest in playing the game, even if his videos are still doing really well. Cypher uploaded a video recently on November 13th, 2022, titled When Am I Quitting Fortnite, where it explains that eventually he'll stop uploading Fortnite content, but it just comes down to when. Cypher talked about how he still enjoys playing Fortnite, and as long as that continues, he'll still be making content on the game. Cypher has also been experimenting with some animated videos, such as the entire history of Fortnite animated, which got over 5 million views, and what Meeting Mr. Beast is actually like, which got over 1.3 million views. I doubt he will upload animated videos consistently though, just because they take so long to make. No matter what Cypher PK decides to do in the future, he will always be known as one of the most entertaining Fortnite creators that didn't leave the game after a few bad updates, which helped grow his audience even more. Make sure to drop a comment down below if you still watch Cypher PK's videos or not, and I'll make sure to get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video on the rise of Cypher PK on both YouTube and Twitch, and I'll see you all next time.